record of actual earthquakes. The sounds in the background are the aftershocks of a major earthquake in California in 1952. The passage of time is speeded up here by playing back the tapes of the earthquake shocks faster than they were recorded. For one reason, just to make them audible. Right now, shocks are taking place 375 times faster than they actually occurred. Since the beginning of this record, we have now heard over four hours of continuous seismometer recording. This sound is from the speeded up motion of the seismometer, from the actual movement of the Earth's crust at Pasadena during this California earthquake. It's as though the turntable speed were 12,000 RPM instead of 33 and a third. Listen. crushing texture of these sounds disappears when the tremors come from 7,000 miles away. Then the motion becomes slow and ponderous. Here at 750 times original speed is a shock train of tremors passing through the center of the earth from a great earthquake on the opposite side of the earth in the Indian Ocean, about 900 miles southeast of Madagascar. shocks is like reverberation, like echoes in a canyon. But here, the canyon is the whole interior of the earth. An entirely different sort of sound preceded this Madagascar quake, made up of very small shocks. Perhaps you didn't notice them. We started arriving at the seismometer an hour beforehand, coming in at about six second intervals. When we listen to them at this faster pace, they become audible as a sort of feathery tone about an octave below middle C on the piano. Now see if you can distinguish traces of this pitch, uh, the same pitch you've just heard, during the quiet period just before the first crash. local California earthquake with three aftershocks, 750 times actual speed. And this is the same quake again at 375 times speed. again at 185 times speed.
Shocks take time to travel through the Earth. This Mexican earthquake from the region of Oaxaca took several minutes to arrive at Pasadena. Now, a fairly severe California earthquake off the coast near San Clemente Island. Here is an earthquake centered in the Hawaiian Islands, 2,500 miles away. If we listen to the last two quakes in rapid succession and at the same speed, it gives a sort of perspective of the Earth's acoustics. San Clemente followed by Hawaii. Now adding the Madagascar quake for additional perspective. The sound of three earthquakes in order of increasing distance around the world. San Clemente, Hawaii, and Madagascar. Now the same thing again, at half the speed. Now we're going to try to reproduce on this record the big San Clemente shock at nearly the original speed. It won't be audible, but by bending over the phonograph and watching the arm very closely, you will see it move from side to side, actuated by the original movement of the indicator of the seismometer in Pasadena.
last sequence of earthquake sounds will include all of the preceding shocks with no announcement.